Hi there, I'm Karthik. I welcome you to the next uh, uh, topic in the series of the elixir. So here uh, we are dealing with the physiological basis questions commonly seen in the cardiovascular system. The aim of this session is purely for your acquaintance with these questions and um, and I want you and I want to enable you to answer these uh, questions. This session is not meant for the replacement of any of your uh, theory reading in your te uh, from your textbooks. So you have to go and uh, revise these topics from your textbook. So uh, test books. So let's go on to the questions. The first question the subendocardial portion of the left ventricle is more prone to ischemia as compared to the other part. Now let's see, uh, let's look at the myocardium. So this is your myocardium, your co cross section. So this is the endocardium. So and this is the epicardium. And the subendocardial portion uh, will be represented here in red. So why is this portion more prone to ischemia as compared to the other parts? So let's see, there are various factors. The first factor you have to remember is that the ventricular musculature is only perfused during diastole. Now this is due to the fact that when the muscles contract, the vessels, uh, the vessels within the musculature is compressed and uh, the blood, do uh, blood doesn't enter into these vessels so the perfusion is decreased during the systole and perfusion happens only during the diastole that is the first point and second point the vessels here are more thinner and hence more compliant than the vessels in the epicardium so in the endocardium and the subendocardium the vessels are more thinner and more compliant and they yield more to pressure so uh, next the compression is not uh, uniform the compression is more in the endocardium and the subendocardium and it is less in the epicardium so all these factors make the endocardium and the subendocardium equally um, more susceptible to ischemia but why is the uh, subendocardium more affected than the endocardium now here this is the uh, chamber of the heart here there is blood so uh, due to direct diffusion of oxygen and nutrients the endocardial portion is spared as compared to the subendocardial por portion here the nutrients doesn't diffuse and reach this particular point and hence uh, the subendocardial portion is more prone to ischemia. Mm -hmm.